Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanna take a look at a tool I believe will add a lot of creativity and drama to our video and photo shoots. What we will be diving deep into is the LensGo handheld fog machine. Let's get to it. Now before we get into the results that I've created using that LensGo handheld fog machine, I first wanna do an unboxing for all of you so you can know what comes with it if you decide to purchase this tool. Okay, so first we have the box right here as you can see there's the back here's the front and uh this is the model smoke b there is a smoke a which looks a lot different it's more uh tubular if you will this one's a little bit wider anyway we have this fog machine here here it's 40 watts it says perfect for outside shooting as well so for those who have used one you can bring this outside as well as uh indoor it's got a lot of crazy functions i've never used this but i definitely thought this could be something great for all of us to try out or at least have in our arsenal of creative tools when doing our projects. So it comes with a really nice case. It reminds me of a case that like DJI or somebody would send you with their with their um, gimbal. Okay, it says keep upright and that means when you're using it, you need to keep it upright. So just FYI what that means. So here you go, let's open this up. And there we have it, we have a um, we have the fan. This is like a fan right here. I watched somebody else's review, so I know a little bit. Uh, There's a fan which helps you to really uh, spread out the, the fog when it comes out or a way to manipulate it. We have right here uh, the fog machine fluid. It has six of them, 12 millimeters each. Uh, yeah. Now, I have already found that you can buy much larger ones or just buy these refills on Amazon. So don't worry if you run out, you can go straight to Amazon. They have tons of these. I saw ones at like 225 milliliters that I more than likely would get is like two tubes for only $19.99. Okay. So don't think you're going to be um, spending a whole lot for the actual fluid. And the one that I saw is like vegetable base. So anyway, so you have that here. Let's just open it up a little bit. there we go here it is let me see if you can see it really well I'm not sure but there you go okay so we have 12 we have uh, excuse me how many is in there six of these in there and instructions are everywhere I've noticed on the box itself as well as on this box itself it's showing you an instruction how to re how to uh, fill it and refill it onto that um, next thing is we have all of these, which basically are like modifiers. The, the way that you use them, like a light modifier is to a flash, these are for your fog machine. So when you attach this to this, it uh, it disperses or you know uh, distributes the, the, the fog in different ways. So it allows you to use it and manipulate the fog and do different things with it. So you have one here, you have a curved one, like a candy cane, and then, you have you could put I, I think oh I've seen it used with this with this one this tube okay now this tube these are pretty hard you're not gonna really bend these at all but this one is almost like a stethoscope if I said that right but but thicker and these, you, this you would uh, attach right here. There's only one side that you could push it into. And then as the smoke comes out, it really goes nuts. So we have that. We have whatever this is, little screws. We've got some screws in there. Now, thankfully, this is all charged via USB-C. So they give you a cord right here. So that's that's that should come with it, but I'm glad that it's USB-C. And then um, some other whatever this is. Now here's something cool, it has a remote, okay? It has a remote, so that means you can put this, you can set this somewhere in your scene, and just as you're about to take the photos, you just go ahead and press this button, and it starts rocking and rolling. Now what's good about that is because 
on a full charge it says it has 18 minutes of continuous fog so therefore if you want to time it and not have to run around run to it set it turn it on turn it off you could do so with this remote so that's actually really 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 handy to have okay now um Let's see here. Let's take off that. So you can see US, the, even the fan needs to be charged. That's USB-C right there. And then um, here is the smoke machine itself. Here's my, I don't have large hands. Here it is. It's like a little bit larger than a grip for the DJI Ronin um, handle grip. Okay, that's what it reminds me of, my RS3 Pro grip. It's it's bigger than that, but not terribly. So if you know that reference, then hopefully that can help you gain an understanding how big this is. Uh, here's my cell phone, just to give you that. So it's not as wide as my cell phone. Not as wide as my cell phone. Definitely not. Um, and just about the same height and this is the 14 this is a 14 pro max so it's about the same height as a 14 pro max okay so there you go um all right so let me open this thing up that's why i always carry a knife because there's always something that you need to open and i think you should always have a good knife on you for multiple reasons Okay, first thing that I notice, it feels good in the hand, it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, here's your on off button, I'm guessing. It has a quarter, uh, um, quarter inch, uh, three eighths inch uh, screw here, so therefore you can put that on a, a tripod. Um, looks like you could put a little leash here too if you wanted to. I don't know why you would. And then um, USB port right here. There's your USB port. And then what else is there on the outside? And that's about it besides it saying it's 40 watts and what it is. It's a fog machine. So here's a cover. On the cover itself it says uh, check oil tank use after refueling. Okay. Okay, so we have the refueling tank, and that just screws right off. That that was that was pretty easy. So you have that, and I'm just screwing and screwing. So here you go. You can see it unscrews right there if you can see it, and then right here is where you would refuel it, right in there. So you take off this yellow little top. And you just refill it right there, drip, 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 just like, just like this, okay, just like that uh, picture is showing right there, okay, drip, 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 put it in, and then I believe it says you have to wait a little while, uh, yeah, wait five minutes before you use the machine, okay, after adding the liquid, you wait five minutes, okay, there you go, good thick glass, doesn't feel cheap or thin at all. The casing feels very solid. I'll have to say that. It feels very solid. Okay. So you put it in here like so. Let me see if... I don't know if this thing has any juice. No, it doesn't feel like it has any juice. But that's all right. Screw that bad boy back on. Like so. And... It says right here, it's warning you, cautious, it does get hot. Uh, someone else did mention that in the video. And thus why they have da -da -da -da, the casing right here so you don't burn yourself, all right? So don't use it like this. And what I just noticed, oh, yeah, it's a magnet. There must be a magnet. Oh, there it is. There's the magnet right there. So once you put it on, okay, it, 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 it's uh, liable to stay right there, okay? Power. You double tap to turn it on, uh, USB-C charged. So that's the unboxing. Let me turn this on real quick and just show you what it looks like real quick when it works. 
Before I turn this on, I do want to let you know it has several fog machine manipulation modes, and we're going to go over each application and effect one by one. This one too. This one gives me a little bit more control. And then you have number two. Medium, which is like a medium speed, and three. Where the fan is really going. Okay, and that creates like a mist. for film sets and so forth. Ah, there we go. There we go, like that. You get in there, in there, a little bit there, a little bit there. There we go. Those were the modes featured in the Lens Go Fog Machine. So now I want to show you a few of the selfie portraits I took in my apartment while using the Lens Go Fog Machine and a couple of LED lights. Let's check it out. There are a couple of things that really stood out to me while using the Lens Go Fog Machine. One is their remote. The remote works really, really well. There were more times than not that I actually wanted to use the remote versus going up and touching it. So if you screwed onto a light stand uh, that's a little distance away from you and your camera, don't worry. That remote is really responsive and works really, really well. It doesn't have any sort of uh, delay at all. It was pretty quick. The other thing that I liked is that it did have that quarter inch screw hole on the bottom. So therefore I could put it on a tripod or uh, other mounting um, hardware that I may have on a film set or maybe a music video shoot or just during one of my portrait photo shoots. Uh, the other thing is that this was actually very easy to use. Those nozzles were uh, um, gripped in really well. I, they didn't feel cheap. Very easy to put on, take off. Again, one of the only things that I recommend is just buying extra solution, think ahead of time. And my other thing that I really enjoyed is that everything, such as the fan, as well as the unit itself, is charged via USB-C. That made it very easy for me to just charge it back up again to give it a go but also if I'm on the road I can easily plug this into my cigarette lighter and charge it USB from scene to scene so those are just a few things that I liked about the lens go fog machine so that was the unboxing as well as some sample photos check out the link down below for you to check out the high-res version of those photos on my website for yourself regardless either way if you're curious about adding this tool to your kit well go press the link in the description section down below for you to check it out. I definitely have some creative ideas that I want to do with this fog machine. Matter of fact, I have one coming up if this rain would ever stop being outdoors, Mustang and a model. So stay tuned for some of those behind the scene photos and video of that shoot with the Lens Go Fog Machine. Either way, what do you think about this tool? Do you find it creative, helpful, whatever, or you just don't care? Either way, post your comments down below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, don't forget to press that like, that share, the subscribe, and you already know, hit that bell icon to get notifications for my upcoming content. I'm Robert Silver, and until next time, keep shooting and stay creative. Thank you.